I see skies of blue, red roses too. I've seen them bloom from me and you. And I, I ask myself, I think I ask myself, what a wonderful world. One more time. Hey, I thought it was over. Hey, hey, hey. I've seen skies of blue, hey, clouds of white, dark, I see the, wait, bright blessed days, dark sacred nights, yeah, get into it. And I ask myself, 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 what a wonderful world. Slow, slow down, you have to slow down today, why? Guess what's up? Guess who's bedak? Still smell on my clothes. It's SFJ, and I'm doing something different today. Put in the comment section who said that's a classic. Classic. Anyway, so I've never done one of these tier list videos, so I decided to to do it. Um, yeah, we're gonna do the double XL 2020 tier list, and I'm going to be ranking everybody's ciphers from F, meaning do do dudacious meaning <clears throat> tier and s meaning goat tier god tier you know what i mean yeah and that just means really good because anyway so if you haven't seen my reactions to all the ciphers go check them out um if you like these tier list videos uh and you guys get this video to two thousand thumbs up i might do another one put under uh the comment below what video you want to see. And I took notes. What tier list you want to see next? I took notes. If you're new, subscribe. By the way, we're on the road to 400,000 subscribers. I took notes. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Keep it real professional. Let's start it right off. Um, I basically did them in a random order. If these, This is not the order in which I have them. We're going to move these all to different things. They're not all E and F. I just put them there to start out with. So, let's start out with Jack Harlow. Where do I place Jack Harlow? Drum roll. Ding. C. Why do I put Jack Harlow in the C list? Now, Jack Harlow's solo freestyle to me was way better than um, the one with the beat. Postpone. Last night the people learned how to throw stones, so they shooting gas at them to make sure they go home. In the past it ain't last, but it's all changed. The word is unturned, how we leaving no stone. The beat was a lot more forgettable to me. And, uh... Let me, let me, the, the notes I took, he wrote the beat nice, like, it did a lot of, it was a lot of good flow, just like in a, in a, in a good pocket, but the bars were kind of generic. I hit him both boy, ain't some friends, she know how to cook and take off pants, flow relax, but I ain't on saying. You know what I mean? Nothing too powerful, like, he didn't say anything that got me, like, knocked me out of my seat. He said some crazy stuff in his first, um, in his first one. In his in his solo one, but this one was it was a high. It was it was it was a bit too laid back, if you ask me. If you, I'm, I'm looking at my notes by the way when I look down. It was a bit too laid back, if you ask me. He was a bit too like. It was cool. There's a there's a mixture of waviness and coolness and like ruggedness and hardness and energy that you gotta teeter with. And right there, he was a little too laid back, too cool. Um, I was not a fan of the popping cherries and I got birds, but they're not canaries bar. Those were how though those alone couldn't get him in the B could get him as far as C. You know what I mean? And, uh, there's no real quotables besides that. So Jack Harlow, bang, you get C list. That's right in the middle. Oh yeah. By the way, baby Keem. I, I mean, um, yeah, baby Keem. I didn't even put him on this cause he didn't do it so he gets something below f tier so whatever's below f tier he's on z tier um little key little key money grow old like green parents i saw white but the inside cream mary <laughs> now we all know Berry, we all know Lil Key. Yeah, I'm. A, I'm not gonna lie to you. His solo. When I, the more I listen to it, the more I'm like, you know what? This is probably the most standout solo, and it's gonna be funny. Why? But 
I think that that's the one people that cred berry bar alone I think is gonna last uh, uh, longer than most of these niggas quotables. But let's where do I put Lil Keed? Let's move my man Twenty Four Carat here, and we moving Lil Keed and E. That's as that's as far as you getting, bro. You wait. No, my bad. I'm tripping. F, bugging, bugging. I'm bugging. He was in the right spot. F, I'm bugging. He F'd here. Now, I think it was probably one of the worst ones of comparative to everybody else's. I think um, the problem with it was when I reacted to it, I liked it, but I only liked, um, what's it called? I only liked the, uh, it compared to the last one he spit. And I didn't like it like it. I just was like, well, this is better than the stuff that we were getting before. Let me make some of these. Let me blank some of these out so y'all don't get confused uh, on who is I'm talking about. But any or where they are on my list. Anyway, but I just felt like he kind of uh it was super whack. It was super whack. Let, let's keep it real. The the, the 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 solo was super whack, but this one this one wasn't even like memorable to me. Like there was no bar like cranberry. And and in this one it made me realize like, oh yeah, this dude is a is like young thugs mini me for real. For real, but the problem is he's like a young thug mini me, but but he don't do young thug as well as young thug do. Let me see if I is there anything I missed. Yes, yeah, it almost kind of sound like he was trying to do some live auto tune. And let me just tell y'all, bro, y'all artists, stop that, stop that, <laughs> stop doing that live auto tune. Uh, y'all know what I mean, where they're like singing, but it's like. Singing like, kind of like this, so it kind of, it's it's weird, it's weird. Anyway, um, I did like the woo, woo part, where he's like, woo, woo, after he said everything, that was pretty cool, I like that. Um, is there anything else? Oh, he said he was coming with Cadence. Wrong! And his verse said, something I'm coming with Cadence, and he was just, he, and his Cadence was real off, and I was like, yeah, nah, chill with that. So, Lil Keed E. Okay, I'm just doing them in order of their... Solo ciphers. Polo G. Now, where does Polo G go to me? This hot shit a cooking noodle in less than a minute. Kicking his door and put that salt in his mouth. I have my killers come and paint the walls in his house. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, bam. Polo G gotta go on B tier. Now you might ask me, what why not A tier? Why not S tier? This is why. Because well actually, hold on, am I gonna make an audible right now? Hold on, who do I have? I'm making sure. Oh, yeah. This is why I couldn't give him A tier. The reason, Polo G to me clearly had one of the best verses written. But when I listen to that and then I listen to his solo cypher, there's not too many differences. It's like, it damn near sound like the same verse. You know what I mean? And so, so it wasn't... It didn't give me enough uh, range and enough growth. And then, because if I was going to compare that, I think his solo cypher was better to me. And um, another reason why he couldn't get any further is because the beat drop. Now, you might think that that's weird, but I feel like if you not, he should have done at least like eight bars with the beat. He should have done like a few bars with the beat because when you drop the beat, it, it throws off everything. Like the transition between Keem or Keed and him was was like so jarring that it was like it was weird so b for for his lyrical ability it was great but there's so much more in that um what else uh he had dope bars he had um b is still really good uh there's only one s tier really but um uh, uh, uh what was i gonna say he had dope bars he had quotables um but the beat drop like i said what came off kind of pretentious you know what i mean it came off kind of like Liking the smell of your own farts a little bit, where you just like, uh, drop the beat for me, thank you. Uh, I don't rap on this beat with you peasants. Like, it's just like, even if the beat would have changed, I would have been okay, but like, dropping it completely, it's like, I need to see, that's a point, that's the point. The solo one is to do it by yourself, the one on the beat is to do it where we hear what you do with a beat, that's, and I kind of feel like you, it missed the point by not doing that, but B is still high. And I would give him more if he would have, because I wanted to see how he was riding the beat, what pocket he was going to choose, what flows he was going to do, what cadences he was going to do. That's a lot of stuff just missed out that we'll never know. But that's why I got to give it there. But 
I think he had one of the best written verses. Now, NLE Chopper. Let's talk about my man Chopper. This might be controversial, but I'm putting Chopper on A. You putting Chopper over a, a Polo G? But Polo G had more of a... This is why I put Chopper over Polo G. When you jump on the beat and when you, you allow yourself to rap on the beat, it allows me to know your passion can be different. Your flow can be different. It shows me a lot more in the range of being a uh, 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 an artist. So it, it would be like a test, right? When when it's like it's like Polo G took a test, but there's two parts of the test, but he only answered the questions on one. So you're not gonna get an A. You're not gonna get an A plus. Even if you get all those answers correct, there's a whole nother part of the test you you just chose not to do. So that's why Chopper goes above. Chopper's energy was fired to me. Chopper's uh, delivery was fired to me. Chopper had quotables. Look at like paint balls when we hit him. That was crazy. And he he just he, it was energy to his thing. There was it, it was alive when you, when he rapped on the beat. His his verse to me was was uh, was alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. What else did I? Uh, he didn't sing really. He had melody, but he didn't sing. I like that. Um, what else? He had passion. Treat it like a real cipher. Put that there. Um, he sounded hungry. Basically like that. The beat allowed him to do that. So I got two parts of, of him and that's where I'm going to put it. So, hey. Now, Rod Wave. Where are we putting Rod Wave? Drum roll. Drrr, ding! Putting Rod Wave at C. Why am I putting Rod Wave at C? Because Rod Wave to me, uh, the reason why he don't go higher it's because he wasn't really rapping. He was rapping, but he was basically singing. And I, I'm God for it. Nah, 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 nah. Like that stuff, he was singing. So I, it's a cypher at the end of the day. I'm going to put the spitters above the singers. I'm just going to, right? So, but when it comes to that, when it comes to that, I think he was the best raw singer. I got a baby. It's crazy. One apartment full of niggas. Uh, mattress got a hole in it. Like he was like the, you could tell like he was, uh, like he went, he used to go to church and sing. Like his parents used to make him, go, go, go sing your little song. Go sing your song, little Rod. Uh, you know, Robert went and sang his song, you know what I mean? And um, even though he was singing, and that's why I gave, I put him up so high, I put him in the sea because his singing was better, I think, than most of the people who sang. And he gave you a lot of different melody switches too. He gave you a lot of different uh, melody switches, different pockets of R&B, you know what I mean? Um, still wasn't like crazy, wasn't like Aretha Franklin singing, but it was singing. And uh, he had quotables. He actually had bars. For someone who was singing, he had bars. The four, uh, the air mattress bar, that was a doozy. That was a doozy. Um, I think that was one of the best bars actually of his whole cypher. And I think he was the most polished sounding of the singers. So when it comes to singers, I don't know if I put any singer above him. Did I? Anybody who sang above him? Yeah, I did. There's one. There's one, but but the other person rapped a little bit too. Rod was kind of singing the entire time. But okay, cool. Rod, see. Now, where do I put Chica? Chica, Chica. What? What? Chica. The girl with the dog. I had to put the dog in the little picture too. Don't get it twisted. Chica goes... Shoot all the way up to the A's. First of all, round of applause for the females. Because y'all really did outdid the dudes. Very well. Very, in fact, let me do this. Let me not disrespect Chica. All right, that, it don't matter, but I'm going to put her up first, and then I'm going to put NLE. Because the girls really did their thing. Now, the reason why she didn't get S tier to me is because... I prefer somebody who has, like when she came on the cypher, it was a bit like soft, laid back. She cool. I could tell that's her little bag. Like she cool with it. That's her little thing. She like super cool. So that's like her own thing. I'm not saying that that makes her whack. But in, in my tier list, I'm going to put, the only person I put, y'all probably already know, is someone who had full energy and was full rap and was coming with that, uh, uh aggression the whole time so uh, uh, that's why she can go up to s a and not s um her flow was the best
I think her pocket when it comes to rapping her flows was the best of anybody in her cypher. You can also tell when it comes to raw lyrically lyric writing, she's probably the best. Of probably anybody on, on any of the cyphers. She's probably lyrically the best. Um, her story was dope. What she was saying was dope lyrically. Uh, she did, I think she stumbled in a part two, but I'll let that one slide. Um, that permanent ink bar, <laughs> fire. Um, and she played with a lot of dope flows. Now, Lil TJ. <sighs> TJ, TJ, listen. You gotta go in the, the pause. You gotta go in the D, the D section, bro. You got to. Now, maybe I just had high hopes for TJ because I'm a fan of that whole movement. I love that. Bitch, I'm from Woo Yo, Woo Yo, Bitch, I'm from Zoo Yo. I said Woo Yo, Zoo Yo. I love all of that. The pop, the 5 e all of that. Um, but, you know what, actually? I'm bugging. I'm bugging. He actually has to go to E. I couldn't put him in the D. Pause. He got to go in the E. Because I think he had one of the most generic verses. I also think, and I'm a, I'm, I was rooting for him. And for someone who, who feels like, man, it's your chance to do something. It, was, it wasn't great. And he was one of the people who sang his whole verse. And it just wasn't great singing either. It sounded like... If you would have threw auto tune on it, it might have been better. But he wasn't really saying anything to me. It was just like, and there was a lot of repeating, a lot of repeating. He was logic levels of repeating himself in this one. Um, what else? It also sounded like a, a song that was already recorded, and it was just like, mm, I don't know. So we're gonna just leave that there. Um, the delivery was, oh yeah, the delivery definitely sounded like he was off that all, like he was off a pint. You know what I mean? Like he was off that mud. Like he was damn near falling asleep with the delivery. You feel me? Um, the next one, 24 karat. Now, let me just say right now, 24 karat goes up to B. Now, 24 karat sang, right? And he's the only person that I put, a, put above Rod Wave who sang. And the reason is because he sang, and, but actually when he got into the rapping, he was fire also. Oh, that's nasty. The super catch fragilistic expedition peeling off the Oh, that was crazy. I love that bar. Yeah, and I liked his energy. It was like when he came on, the like you woke up, like the cyphers woke up, like it was just like wow, he brought like a like a bright energy to him. He made me interested in him to hear more of him. He was, he was a, he had bars too on top of the singing. The singing wasn't crazy. Uh, Rod Wave singing was better to me, but Rod Wave didn't give me that switch up into just like the mm, super casual fragilistic expedition pillar off the, oh, that was crazy. Um, and the, the, when he, the, the scheme, when he, he put everybody, name in the in the in that scheme that was fire kind of sound like he was actually freestyling too i gave him extra props for that um i woke right up when he came on there he was infectious the infectious flow now let's get to Favi. bow Favi. bow now if you ask me i'm putting him on s tier bow that's me that's just but but really though if we take my complete and utter biased out of it, cause I know we gotta put so Favi Bow. on on uh, uh, D. We got to. I, I would put him on the. I, I got pause. I put him there. The the reason was it was just none of the bars really connected. It was just kind of nonsensical. Um, it was just a bunch of kind of gangster word soup. Like New York drill word soup, but and it was kind of just the same flow the whole time. And he definitely looked like he was off a of perk eighty, nigga. That nigga looked like he was off a of perk three hundred, nigga. That nigga. But all that set aside. If you a five year fan like me, that's exactly what you thought he was gonna do. Bow, movie viral. 
Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rest in peace, Pop. Okay, let's go to Cal. Believe it or not, I'm putting Cowboy on C. I'm putting Cowboy on C. Now, Cowboy messed up a lot a couple of times in his verse, and there was repeating bars in his verse. But I could 100% tell he was freestyling. And the, with his his freestyle was better than a lot of niggas' verses written. I got a rap with that demon cause niggas be yapping a lot. Hey, I got some aim with that glizzy. I'm blowing the cap off his top. For real. I got some gorgeous like down in the cage. I know some boys from the sand box probably won't see the boys to the grave. That's dead serious. And the way he was including every, knock his little cap off that, he had a little quotables. And I liked his energy. It was cool, but it was still like, it, it, there's still something to it. You did what I'm saying? I appreciated it a lot. Um, so I put him up there simply because I think he came correct. He came cypher mode, didn't really sing. He was he was doing his bow, all that. I would probably switch Favi. And it, it, okay, anyway, but I, 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 just the unbiased Favi has to go there. And y'all already know. Ding, ding, ding. S tier is the Queen Mulatto. Damn, this is good. This is good. Man, Pootie done did it again. This year, I think for the last two years, the girls have had the best ciphers. Hands down. Guys, y'all got to step it up. Mulatto came in with the energy, the bravado. M Mulatto, Mulatto should have ghost wrote some of these niggas' uh, verses. Mulatto came in not playing around. You feel what I'm saying? She had quotables. She had energy. She had huh, switch up. She had attitude. She was heavy punches. She was jabbing. She was punching. She had punchlines. Niggas are not punchlines. Nigga, the Takashi 6 9 But if he tell, I'm a ooh. She was rapping, rapping, and made me actually very excited to hear more music. If you want to see me do mulatto reactions, put it in the comment section. I think by far, hands down, nobody could really argue she had the best 16 or whatever, how many bars it was. Shout out to you, mulatto. I don't know if y'all be watching these reactions, but I'm sure some of y'all watch some of them. I don't know what I'm saying, but shout out to you, girl. You keep doing your thizzle and... This was really your moment. And Baby Keem, Lil Keed had a better verse than you. And I'm going to tell you right now, I don't know why you didn't do this, but I guarantee you what's going to happen is when people remember this, they not going. I don't think they're going to remember Keem was on this. I'm going to keep it a buck. And I'm talking about the cover. When history tells us, just remember this, unless Keem does some crazy, or I always get Keem and Keem switch, some crazy, crazy thing. But if, if he's... I wish you would have done it. That's all I'm going to say. We out. Put in the comment section what you think about my list, what your list is. We out of here.